Hey, what's up internet and cosplay fans? What you see here is basically what I did for the month of October leading up to Halloween. In a wild departure from my guitar videos, I thought I'd show you what I did for my kids. Of course, they had to be badass superheroes for Halloween this year. My kids are age five and six and they went as Deadpool and Nightwing, their two favorite superheroes at that time. I just really got into uh, the idea that I was gonna craft them some armor out of foam. My kids just love to play dress up and battle and superheroes and this was basically the ultimate for them is to pick a superhero and have their dad make a costume for them. W what I did was watch all the tutorials I could on YouTube and learn how to work with the foam a little bit and I think it turned out pretty good. We'll zoom in and I'll show you some of the pieces that I made for their costumes and I'll talk about how I made them. Alright, well, so we'll start with Deadpool first. I wasn't sure really what I was going for. I kind of winged it. It ended up looking more like a samurai suit than Deadpool but my kid didn't really care and it worked out in the end. I made everything for the costume, obviously, except for the clothing pieces. All the bracers, they're all made out of foam. These are just the floor mats. I secured the back with a bit of elastic stuff that I got at the fabric store. For the gloves, both of the gloves are pretty much the same. These are cheap, uh, I think they were two for two dollars at the dollar store, pairs of gloves, and I made kind of badass knuckles for them um, for punching out the bad guy I guess whatever the kids hurting each other with the belt buckle is foam again I bought some of that strapping or I might have taken this off an old backpack or something it's velcroed together I made the holsters these are dollar store guns there's a little bit of foam down in there to help keep them in so they wouldn't jiggle around. This is from the dollar store. Oh, that's the back of the costume. I guess I could have taken a picture of that. Pretty cool. Obviously, Halloween equals weapons, so not to be underplayed. These were crazy track pants from the dollar store. Actually, no, they weren't from the dollar store. They were from a discount clothing store. I think they're about five bucks. They seem to fit the whole Deadpool theme, so I snagged those. This shirt was the same thing from the dollar store. I tried to paint the side of it to match Deadpool's, but it ended up looking kind of funky. Of course, the, the piece de resistance, the mask. I followed a tutorial um, from a guy named Friggin' Boom Toys, and I think it worked out pretty good. What I did was, I bought one of these shirts and then I bought a second one because they, I think they were seven bucks each or something. And I used that fabric for this because it's pretty breathable. I used the back of it, you can see I sewed it together by hand. Inside is one of those black plastic masks, just blank, nothing on it. So I cut the holes out and ended up gluing it. Uh, what did I use? I used hot glue for that. It actually did have the white eye covers in it, but my son hated it, so I had to pull it back out again, which I was kind of bent about since it took me so long. I used a mannequin head, and I sewed it around, as you can see. It turned out pretty good, for what it's worth. I probably should have just bought one on the internet. It would have cost me probably a little bit less than, I don't know, probably cost me 20 bucks to make this thing, so. That held the front down on the sides, but my kid doesn't actually like it. He likes it just to float freely. So this is all created using those those floor mats with the um, exception of some other pieces that I used to brace it. This is the super small craft foam. I basically went out and bought three different thicknesses and then used those to construct it together. I ended up painting it with just uh, spray paints. The metallic -y bit is just brushed on with a brush.
my favorite costume, the Nightwing costume. After I was done this, I was pretty satisfied that I'd be able to make an adult costume at some point in time. More, f more foam mats. For this part, I doubled it up right there and made the thickness. Essentially, I sprayed a little bit into the pan, into a little pan and then just brushed it on until I thought it looked rather metallic, which it's got a nice sheen to it on this one. Elasticy bits to keep the bracer from sliding up. More gloves, just like the Deadpool gloves. I took the Dremel and I used it on the end just to make these and then colored a bit in to make it look like rivets on metal. All the armor, if you can see, has been rounded off with a Dremel. That's that's the effect that uh, that you probably want to make it look a little bit more finished. Those are just more floor mats doubled up. You can see the bit of the crease there. And I scored that and used a heat gun to kind of make the pockets stand out a bit. This is another Velcro. If I could have changed something, I would have sewed that on because essentially I used hot glue for everything and I tried different contact cements, but I couldn't get one to work properly. So I would sew that on because kids are pretty brutal with the Velcro. Little flashlight for them because kids love that shit. Here's the shin guard. More elastics. There's the back. I secured the shoulder guards with just a bit of that black strapping and hot glue. So many great tutorials on the internet. This is all spray paint. I really, I really winged this thing. This is the first one I made and actually I think it, I don't know if it turned out better than the Deadpool, but I like the shininess of it better. It looks more like armor. So I had cut those all out and then I glued them all to a bit of the thin, thin uh, craft foam. It fit over his head pretty snugly. And those are the holders for the batons. Uh, just some black pants from that same winter store. And this was uh, just a little shirt that he had with a ninja costume, so I did that. Oh, the batons. So there's a bit of dowel inside there. And I covered it with craft foam, hot glued it, and then wrapped it with hockey tape after. That way it kind of gives the look that I was going for without it being too deadly for a kid to get it in the face. So and I put that little bump on there because I can secure it in the back for him so we can pull that out when he's fighting crime. Now down to the mask. This was the part that I had a hard time with. Essentially what this is, is a two or three dollar Batman mask. So. I looked on, I just took reference photos and I just kept cutting along the perimeter until it kind of looked, you know, Nightwing-ish. And then on top of that, if you can see, I put a bit of that metallic paint on here to just give it a slight sheen. So it turned out pretty, pretty badass. Definitely the best looking kids on the block this year. Uh, I'm not sure if I've left anything out. If you have any questions about the armor or how I made it, I can help you out, but uh, the, the tutorials on the internet are where you want to start, and hopefully by next year I'll have enough experience to make my own armor, and I've promised my nephews that they were going to get some as well, so I'm going to practice on them. And uh, that is it. Ha <laughs> ha.